Hey everyone, so here's a quick video for the setup for the Yaskama solar powered battery iPre camera system um, that I've received. Um, so here we have the uh, Yaskama camera itself. Um, give you a quick overview of this. It's quite a nice egg feel to it um, with your standard lens and PIR sensor on the front. Got a mount on the bottom, magnetic support on the back. Um, and then here we have a little catch which simply opens up and shows you the port for your SD card, micro USB, your on button and the little reset pin hole in the bottom there. Um, we have a ma magnetic mount. So you pop that up onto the inside of your shed or wherever you want to be able to use this camera. Um, and then when the, battery, the uh, camera goes anywhere near it, all it does is lock straight up. So if that's already mounted, then it holds it quite nicely up in a decent position out of the way. Um, then we have with it, we have the solar panel, uh, plenty of cable in there. And that just has a simple connector um, that, as you saw, will replace the back and the back of the camera there when that's plugged in. Um, at the moment, it has a decent amount of charge in there, which I've, I've quickly checked. Um, has a decent amount of charge in there, so um, everything should be good to be able to show you how to set this thing up. Uh, it comes with a bracket for the solar panel. Um, this allows you to be able to angle it to the right angle to catch as much sun as possible. I have solar panels on my roof, um, so when the professionals installed that, they showed me the direction they're supposed to be in, um, so I'll be able to do that as well. Um, put them in it, put this one in exactly the same position. However, it does, if you have a look on the back here, you've got two standard hooks, so you could just hang that just about anywhere that's going to get some, some decent light. Um, it's also got a couple of extra other mounts uh, that we've got in here. Um, I won't be needing these ones as these ones will be the ones that I'll be using in my um, house. Um, got some mounting screws with some raw plugs, um, the sticker pads, um, and of course a charging cable. Uh, you've got a quick start guide with it and a full instruction guide, a user manual. There we go. So that's a quick overview of what's in the uh, in the box itself. Um, here I have a phone. This is my wife's phone that I'm going to be using to be able to set it up. Uh, so on here I've installed an app called Cloud Edge. So it's this one here. I'm going to click on that one. Um, I've already set myself up with an account. So for you, it will log in and ask you to uh, sign in or create a, a login. So at the moment I've already got one. Uh, this is the screen it's going to give me. Um, so what I'm going to start up and do is I'm going to grab hold of the uh, camera itself. Try and do this with one hand whilst I'm showing you guys. Uh, open up the back there and press the on button, which as you can see there, we have a little tiny little red light just on the top there. It's just turning on itself at the moment. Um, and there we go. Now it's, it's flashing so it's ready to be connected to. So I'm just going to pop this back in, in here while we set this up. There we go. Connect it straight onto there so that we can see. Um, and then I'm going to go back into my app, add this in here. Uh, we're going to put on, we want a camera. There we go. So I've powered on the device, which it already told me to be able to, to do. So very, very clear instructions. Uh, click on next. The device has been reset. Uh, wait for the red flashing camera. There we go. If you do need to be able to uh, reset it, that's just that pin hole on the back next to the power button, which I already did for it, which I already showed you earlier on. Um, click on next. We've got the uh, Wi-Fi network here, um, which give me one second and I'll just pop it in. I don't want all you people to be able to know what my Wi-Fi network is. Um, so give me one second. So there we go. I've added in my password. Um, and it's come up with operation. So please remo remove all the films from the lenses, which I have done already, uh, and tap next to show a QR code. So this is going to show up a QR code on the front here, and it's as simple as showing it to the camera itself. And did you hear that? That, that means that the camera has successfully scanned. It says a tone will be heard when successfully scanned. So you press next on there. It's connecting to the camera itself now goes very very quickly 100% there is my device excellent all done so let's say done and we have it there is the camera that is the one that's set up already 
So all I have to do is press on that. It gives me a few instructions on how to set it up, on how to zoom, everything else like that. Um, let me just turn off the intercom on here so that... Well, sorry, turn off the sound on here. Then there we go. You won't hear the uh, the bouncing off of all of the sound everywhere. Um, so you've got all of your options down here with your screenshot, uh, intercom, record, body detection. History is in there. So because there's no SD card in there at the moment, it's not going to be saving any history. So you'll need to pop in an SD card into the back of the unit uh, where I showed you where the new where the power on button is. Um, so once again, then you've got your you can take single screenshots. Look, here you go. Here's the camera and it's filming you. Um, go back off there. Uh, history, cloud. You can activate a, a cloud service as well onto there, but I'm usually using the live setup just so I can and check on it and I'll be popping in an SD card as well. And then you can also record. So the recording is going to record straight to this phone. Um, so you don't always need an SD card, but it's nice to be able to have one. So that record button now is recording straight to my phone. Um, there you go, video saved to storage, excellent. So you can turn body detection on and off and everything's just there, really, really simple. I should give you a, a, an idea of um, the quality of the image. Uh, so if I pick this up and turn it around over here, you can see a picture of an elephant. There you go, there's a picture of an elephant for you. Perfect. So it's really, really quick. Nice, clear image very useful app with all the options that you'd expect to be able to have on there um so fantastic thanks for watching